Are you tired of messing around with those little one pound grain propane tanks? Do you have a hundred of them sitting in your truck because you just don't know which ones are empty and which ones are full? Well today, I'm going to show you how to hook up your Blackstone to your camper. So today I'm going to show you how to ditch the little green tanks. And why would you even want them? You've got two big propane tanks right on the front of your camper. Why not use those? And all you really need is a special hose. These hoses come in all different lengths. Let me show you a couple I found on Amazon. So if you hop on over to Amazon and you search for RV Blackstone propane hose, you'll come up with some results like this. You can see there's a lot of different varieties to choose from. Different styles and different lengths. Whatever fits your application best. So here's one like the one that I chose. I felt this was the easiest for my application. It's got the quick fitting on one end and the Blackstone fitting on the other. Now if you already have an extension hose, you can get just the adapter. You can get this in a 90 degree fitting or in a straight fitting, whichever fits your application best. Or you can buy a longer extension hose like this with a shutoff valve built in to help you control the gas right at the Blackstone. But if you get this extension hose, don't forget you still need the Blackstone adapter. Now not everyone wants to use the propane tanks on their camper, or maybe they just don't have the quick connect fittings built in already. In that case, you can get you one of these. It's a small three foot hose that'll plug straight into a 20 pound propane tank. If you do get one of these, make sure it's got the regulator on it though. So if you jump back on Amazon again and search for Blackstone propane hose and leave out the RV part, you'll come across something like this. This one's a six foot and it's got a built in regulator. So which option are you interested in? Hooking up to the tanks in the front or bringing your own 20 pound tank? Let me know down in the comments. So now that you've got the right hose you need, let's get you hooked up. So here's what that quick connect looks like underneath our camper. We've got a plug here to keep debris out when we're not using it. And we've got a valve here to shut it off when we're not using it. So first thing we're going to do is pull this plug out, grab the correct end of our hose, pull back on the sleeve, push it in, and pull it out. We're not going to turn this on until we've got the other end hooked up to our Blackstone. So then we'll take our other end, push it all the way in, slide the sleeve forward, and screw it on till it's tight. Now that we've got everything hooked up, we want to open our valve. Now it's in the open position. So once you get your Blackstone all hooked up, it's probably not going to light up the first time. That's because you have air in the propane hose from sitting out. All you got to do is purge that air out. Let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my burners and turn it on. You'll see it didn't light. I'll let it sit open for a good five to 10 seconds, depending on how long your hose is and how far back your connection is from the propane tanks on your camper. Now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and try and light it again. And you probably can't see the flame in the sunshine, but it's lit now. Now I have the griddle off just for demonstration purposes. You'll want to have your griddle on before you light your Blackstone. It may be a little difficult to light without it on if it's a windy day. Now while I got you here, I'll share a few quick tips with you on using your Blackstone. You always want two bottles, one for oil and one for water. This one's for cooking, this one's for cleaning. Always make sure you have all your food and your tools before you start cooking. You can't be running back and forth to get stuff. Once it's on the griddle, you got to stay there and cook it. And don't forget your scraper and make sure it's sharp. It'll help a lot with trying to clean this thing after you're done cooking. And paper towels. You're going to need a lot of paper towels. And the biggest tip I have for you is as soon as you're done cooking and you take the food off the griddle, clean it. It is so much easier to clean it as soon as the food comes off. And it really only takes two minutes. The quickest way to clean it is to scrape all of your excess into your grease port. And then for the tough spots, spray some water on it. It'll start to boil right on the griddle and that's good. You'll see it turn brown. That means it's lifting all of the junk off of the griddle. Use your scraper again to push that to the grease port, but be careful, it's hot. Once you've got most of it scraped off, that's when you start hitting it with your paper towels. Give it a good wipe down. And once it's all clean, check how your seasoning's doing. You might need to reseason. I usually reseason about every five to six cooks. And that's all there is hooking your Blackstone up to your camper. Simple as that. Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you learned something today, please hit that like button down below. It'll help other people find this video.